It's the dead of night at Capgemini Sujeti's Security Operations Center. Rico and his team of security analysts are hard at work monitoring the ongoing system security for Energy City and tracking 24-7 global intelligence feeds for new threats. Energy City is a major energy provider and an important client for us. We're helping them to manage their cybersecurity. In addition to building safeguards and advising on their cybersecurity strategy, we're monitoring the company's ongoing system security. This ensures the business stays on top of immediate and emerging cybersecurity threats. An alert is activated, and one of the analysts identifies that someone is connecting to an Energy City server, which is highly suspicious at this early hour. Rico contacts Mark, Energy City's on duty security operator. Energy City has not authorised any changes. It's normal for the port to be open on this server, but there should be strict HTTP on it. I authorise Capgemini Sajeti to close any connections on this port. Our first investigation shows that it is SSH traffic. This is serious enough to start incident management. We'll begin extracting the security equipment logs. The next morning, a new team of security analysts reports to work at the Security Operations Centre. Joanna, the team lead, is briefed by Rico about the suspected security attack. We detected that an SSH service was launched on port 8080, which has been used by an external IP. We took action and shut down the service a few hours ago. The logs we analysed show there was an unusual communication between the server and the ACME website. We discovered a binary had been downloaded during yesterday's system update. Joanna meets with Mark from Energy City. She explains what her team has learned about the attack. Together, they discuss the implications and the steps they must take to address it. We found out that malware had enabled an external IP address to connect to an Energy City server. A team of forensic investigators from Capgemini Sujeti's incident response team detects infected JavaScript code on the ACME website. Joanna is now able to see the full picture. Attackers are trying to infect Energy City's entire network. She immediately contacts the Energy City operational team and reports the ACME website is infected. The malware was a well-known variant. Our analysis of it was quickly completed to enable cleaning tool development. We've set up advanced, dedicated detection rules in the Security Operations Centre so that future attacks on clients similar to Energy City can be averted. Capgemini Sujeti's timely action and vigilance helped us avert what could have been a major security concern. The team quickly identified the threat and set up the necessary controls before there was any impact on our business. Capgemini Sujeti's always on 24 7 approach to cybersecurity and our dedicated security operations centre help our clients to track and stop security breaches before any damage can be done. Our teams work around the clock to ensure quick response times, crucial to stopping an ongoing attack or predict an imminent threat. Capgemini Sujeti Intelligent Cybersecurity Services. We advise, we protect, we monitor. People matter, results count.